Hello! Today we're going to be going over Corel Essentials 2021. Uh, Corel Essentials is the cheaper version of Corel and um, it's quite a bit different from the ones that we have at the space. Um, it doesn't have as many options. It's good for home use though. When you buy it you do get Corel Photo Paint as well so you can learn how to use that, um, but it's not really useful for lasering. Uh, but I'm going to show you how to do basic lines, how to do a quick trace, um, and how to get the a regular image that we import into something that is laserable. So we're going to go into new document here. Um, and you can change the page size and everything. I I keep mine at 24 by 18. That is the print bed size of the uh, ULS lasers that we've got at the space of the 260 watts. So it's helpful because I can put the image up here in the corner and you're gonna get the most power in this quadrant of the print bed. When you get further away, you're going to have less power. Remember that because it's using light, so you're um, losing power as you get away from, more away from the laser. I learned that yesterday, actually. Um, so um, what we're going to do is we're going to go to import, and I have a photo already that I'm going to use for this. Um, we're going to do Big Bay State Park. And we're going to go, we're going to just put it right in that upper right hand corner there. All right, so we've got our state park. And when you're at the space, you're able to use different ways of tracing an image. Um, with Corel Draw Essentials, you're not um, going to have those options. So you don't have center line or outline trace. Um, so if I do a quick trace, it's going to show up like this. And we don't want that. That's that's terrible, right? So I'm going to go back to undo. And I don't like to just take somebody else's image and put the exact same thing onto a piece that I'm making anyway. Um, I like to take bits and pieces from it and make it my own. Um, so... We're going to use this freehand tool over here. You don't get the options that you do with the other Corel Draws either with that. Um, there will be a little arrow down here that you could select different ways of using the freehand tool. For this, it, it would actually look like this. And then you could select which type of line you want. But for this, we're just going to do a regular line. And we click once. We don't click and drag, like we don't hold down your mouse button, you just click once, let go, and then it's going to have a line that is connected there. And you're gonna click again, click, 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 click. All right, so we've got like a basic line there. And then you um, can make it bigger over here. You can select the dots so i like to have a um like morse code type <laughs> dotted line on on my borders and then over here this is a nice little tool um for colors you can of course choose your colors from over here you of course want to make sure that you are getting the correct hex code um so like if i do this in red I want it to be that FF0000. Um, it sh the RGB palette should have everything correct. But over here, if you right click, it's going to, to give you the correct color. Um, if you left click, that's going to be your fill. So um, it's really useful to have colors the colors over here because then you can just right click or left click when you're doing this. So, we figured out how to do that, right? So now, let's say that you have another line that you started right here. And we'll also make that, what did I say, four? No, I said 3.0, didn't I? Okay. So, 
I want to connect these two, right? So you would then select the shape tool here, and you'll notice that these are kind of, that this arrow here is facing a it's it's not facing the right way, right? Um, so if we're going to connect this, actually that nope, it didn't work. So it's still not connected when you click and drag it over to the second node. So what you had to do is first you got to reverse subpaths. So now we've reversed the subpath. Let's see if that works. And if that didn't work, then nope. So that means that it's going to want us to combine. And this is how you do that. So if you, if you hold down shift and then select both, you go to object and you'll see this combine button, but that's not wanting to work right now. Hold on, get out of there. All right, now they both should be. Yeah, there we go. So you wanna hold down shift and select both. It's kind of hard to see what it's selecting, but that's what you wanna do. Um, if I didn't have a, a picture underneath it that would also get selected, then I'd be able to just click and drag or, you know, make a box, but I couldn't do that with this. So then you hit combine and now we should theoretically be able to combine these. There we go. So now we've got, now it is one piece. So when I click that around, that's how you do it. So you're not going to be able to do infill on something without doing that. So let me connect these two. So now let's say that I was making a box, right? So I can left click over here and make a box. Um, if I had not actually connected those two or combined those two lines, then I would not have been able to do an infill. So um, that's the basic gist of combining lines and all that. Um, now let's say that you want to do some curves. Like I've got a bunch of trails down here, right? Um, obviously, I don't want this to look straight. That would look stupid. It wouldn't look like trails. So what I can do is I can do a bunch of these and I actually would normally use a uh, my drawing pad for this but for the sake of this video and I'm gonna make this easier for you guys to see for the sake of this video um, I'm not using my drawing pad so we've got you know straight lines it looks kind of shitty so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go on to our uh, shape tool and we're going to select a node right click and we're going to hit to curve so now i can curve this line which is kind of cool um and let's say like you see how there's kind of like a this node creates kind of like a bump there check this out so if I double click on that node, it's going to delete the node and the curve is going to kind of like form um, a better line and it's not going to like go back to being straight or anything. It's, you know, um, you can also double click anywhere and create a new node if you're trying to get more detail. So, um, yeah, so that is that's it for today. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me um, or to Hapto or Ellen or Akai. Um, we're open to uh, to answering any questions that you have about Corel. Um, there's lots of stuff that you can do here. Like I said, Corel Essentials, it's like 99 bucks on their website. It is not... Um, you know, you don't get as much as many options, but for basic stuff, you can totally just do this. And I mean, I make these maps all the time. Um, 
after you're done, you just get rid of this background and you're good to go. All right. Have a good one.